Heck, that's yeah. well hot. All right, awesome Tuesday, man. Beautiful weather. Thank the good Lord for that. Good Lord brought the humidity and heat back, baby. So that was good. That's the way we like it down here in Hattiesburg. You know, uh, thought it was a really good day defensively. I think we continue to grow and communicate. You know, I think Quez McNeil really playing well. Sabatini probably had one of his better practices. It looks like he continues to improve from his knee injury. Brendan Tolles, you can tell he gets more comfortable every day. On the back end, those guys are just really uh, learning the nuances of our defense. Saw Jordan Johnson make an interception. He continues to come on. Those back end guys are just communicating with so much more confidence and so much more wherewithal of what we're doing. I uh, thought we had great leadership from our D-line today. Uh, you know, I thought Tate had a really sharp day. Ethan did some good things. Uh, Davis Dalton made some plays today. You continue to see him coming on, man. He's got a chance to be a good player. All in all, really good Tuesday. Got some great kickoff cover work, some great punt work. And, uh, you know, that's going to be integral in this season and in this game coming up is, is special teams. And uh, so we know that. we got a big Wednesday tomorrow with red zone and third down. We're looking forward to it. So with that, I'll open it up. Uh, I mean, what kind of stands out to you with, uh, with uh, Kentucky, uh, I guess particularly on offense? Yeah, so just the whole team, you know, big and long. You can tell they, they've really stuck to – when Coach Stoops got there, you can tell they made a conscious decision to recruit size and length. Uh, if they're going to sacrifice something, they're not going to sacrifice that. And you see that across their whole offensive front, defensive front, their edge guys from their tight ends to their to their outside backers, to their inside backers. You see t tall and long, you know, and that's the thing that stands out with you, along with the kickoff returner, number seven, Brown. You know, he's uh, you know, he's the best I've ever coached against. I've coached against Tyreek Hill. You know what I mean? So uh, he, he's really, really dynamic. And, uh, you know, good football team. Everything you read, they think it's the best roster they've ever had there. So, uh, tremendous opponent at their venue, and our guys are looking forward to it. Coach, the defensive line in particular, I know they have a maybe a top five NFL draft yeah. pick. How do you guys – combat what, what they're going to be throwing at you and, and how uh, how big of a test is this for your O-line? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great test. He's obviously a great player. We've got a tremendous amount of respect for him. You know, fundamentals, technique, and effort. You know, you got to rely on fundamentals, technique, and you got to play with great effort. You know, and that's the only way to ever win any type of great competitive battle. You know, when we feel like we compete every day here and we're going to definitely compete, you know, on Saturday when we go to Lexington. But he is a great football player and uh, will be a – will be a – tremendous opponent for us. You mentioned um, you coached against Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Um, can you draw any comparisons between him and Ty Mims? I know obviously kind of yeah. similar skill set, smaller guy, but can, can yeah. both of them can kind of move. Well, number one, Ty Mims is a really good person. You know what I mean? Like, Ty Mims is a legitimate person that, that, that is a great teammate that cares about people. And so, uh, you know, that's the one thing I respect Ty so much about. And Ty's got a bright future. He works extremely hard, and he's got a chance to, to continue to, to grow and continue to get better. Anything else for Coach? Uh, definitely a question about the NIL. Just want to ask, uh, was one of your biggest focus in the offseason? Can you talk to me about what's the impact of it now and how does it impact not only you all, but just in general, the program and any other Southern Miss athletics? Yeah, NIL is the best thing to happen to Southern Miss in a long time. You know, and our fans are embracing it. They've got to continue to embrace it. It's given us an edge. You're able to see that in the big three sports and football, men's basketball, and baseball, and the way we've recruited. And if our fans will continue to take hold of this and latch on to it and use it as a way to prove that we're the best fan base in the country, we could really, really do some great things and put ourselves in position to, to be competitive with, you know, I think with even ACC, Big 12, and lower SEC opponents in that, in that space. And uh, we're moving in that direction. Peter Baines in charge of it. I encourage our fans, if they don't know Peter, to get to know him. And uh, it's easy. Just to the topcollective.com, sign up. The lowest deal is 17 bucks a month. We got to get everybody on board, and we can do something really, really special. Coach, uh, just uh, obviously going on the road, just the environment you're going to be going into. A lot of new players on this football team, and I know you, obviously the first thing you want to see is them compete and, and be be in the ball game. But yeah. what else are you looking for as a head coach in the first game? Big road test. Yeah. Yeah, we do have some new players, but I'd say we've probably got less new players than a lot of people. I mean, we're, we're probably in the top 5%, 10% of, of uh, roster carryover in the country. So I think, you know, the majority of our team that will travel to Kentucky understands our culture, understands what it takes. 
Uh, a lot of those kids at one point in time in their life were, have played in SEC venues. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I don't think our kids will be, you know, in all of that by any means. We're going to have respect for that, but we're not going to be in all of that. We understand that at the end of the day it's football, you know, like the movie Hoosiers, you know. They throw that thing up there and drop it down. The rim's 10 feet tall no matter where you play basketball. At. I mean, this is football on turf, you know, and uh, our kids are going to play football. And we're looking forward to it. I know a guy that brings experience up front for you, Dante Lucas. Can you mention, can you just talk about how big he is for you guys, uh, bringing that experience especially? Yeah, he's been great through fall camp. Uh, we're excited to watch him play this season. He's a proven player, you know, from Florida State to South Alabama. He's been one of the better players in the Sun Belt in his time in the Sun Belt. And uh, we think he can be a great player for us this year. Uh, he's really become us and embraced how we do things. And I'm excited to coach him. I enjoy being around him every day. Anything else, Coach? Good. Awesome. Appreciate Thanks, you guys.